very good morning my dear friends i extend a hearty welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering lecture series and myself dr m h chennaiya former head of the department of aeronautical engineering and automobile engineering at acharya institute of technology bangalore friends in today's session we are going to have the projections of a pentagonal lamina which is having a side measuring 30 mm which is inclined to vp so when we just go through this problem you will understand there is a lamina pentagonal in shape they have given the dimensions and they say it is resting on vp so this clue will help you how way to place this lamina whether it is above xy or below xy that is on hp or on vp friends here the lamina is resting on vp so immediately you should get in your mind that there is this pentagonal lamina it is placed like this on what on one of its sides so that particular side on which it is placed should be perpendicular to hp and this side should come to your left side that is to the left side of the observers so here assume this to be pasted to wall pasted to vp or kept on this such that the side ab is vertical and in the front view you are going to get the regular pentagon having side 30 mm and in the top view you are going to get a line on xy because the lamina is on vp so friends let us commence the problem by marking the front and top views of the lamina so i am going to mark this xy line which is the line of intersection of vp and hp i will extend till here and mark it as vp and hp indicating the first angle projection if it is third angle projection this is going to be hp above and vp below that's the only change wherein in the first angle projection the lamina or any object is placed in the first quadrant whereas in the third angle projection as the name goes the object is placed in the third quadrant friends here it's a pentagonal lamina it has to rest on one of its sides on vp so friends i am going to write this pentagon a regular pentagon having side measuring 30 mm with which is resting on vp with one of the sides say this ab i'll say a dash b dash which is normal to hp normal to xy and friends this will give you the front view of the lamina that is a regular pentagon this is going to be c dash d dash and this is a dash this is a regular pentagon and in the top view friends you get a line on xy so this a and b will be here i will call this as ab at this point c and d will fall on the same line you can just write a vertical through this so this point is going to be c comma e finally this is d so this is d and that so if you join all this by straight line this line ab c e d will represent the top view of the lamina which has got a length which we represent by m this m can be measured using a scale so friends now i got the front and top views of the lamina with this side ab measuring 30 mm and all the sides of the same dimension here the side ab on which the lamina is resting on vp is normal to hp i have shown here friends it says the surface of the lamina is inclined at 40 degrees so when the lamina is on the wall or on vp like this it is not making any angle with the wall it is on vp 0 degrees with vp now keeping that lamina there i am going to redraw this figure said so that this surface makes an angle with the wall and this inclination to vp or the wall 
can be seen in the top view and hence whatever the top view you have got previously is redrawn that is I am going to redraw this at an angle of 40 degrees to VP so friends here I am going to draw this line the top view of the line at an angle of 40 degrees to VP so the measurement you have here and this measurement should be same here AB should be on the XY because it is on VP then D is the corner I have to locate this CE at a distance of so much from D friends I have got the top view of the lamina having length M redrawn with this line AD or ABD making 40 degrees with the VP I will say this is 40 degrees with the VP obtain the corresponding front view it is simple friends so we will start from this A and B a vertical line through A and B vertical line through A a horizontal line through this this will give you a dash then similarly vertical through B horizontal line through B this will give you the point B dash so this A dash B dash friends will have the same length as 30 mm because this is on the wall friends obtain similarly the other points like D if you want to find D draw a vertical line from D a horizontal line from here this point is going to be D dash similarly C and D will lie on this draw a vertical line through these two C and E horizontal line so through E if you draw a horizontal line these two will meet here this is going to be point E dash and finally C is here so vertical from C horizontal line from C when they meet here will give you the point C dash friends you got all the five corners of the lamina join all this by straight line so join A to B B to C C to D D to E and E to A friends this figure will give you the front view of the lamina when its surface is inclined at an angle of 40 degrees to VP friends here you can observe that the side AB which is on VP will have the same dimension whereas this side BC and this AE will have the dimensions reduced that depends on the inclination more the surface is inclined to VP lesser will be this width and friends in this you can observe here the lamina is resting on AB on VP but that AB is again perpendicular to HP so AB is perpendicular to HP and friends he says draw its projection when the side on which it rests that is it is resting on AB that has to be inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to HP friends we are left with completing this diagram taking AB on a line which is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to HP so friend take some point here and draw a line here from this point this making an angle of 30 degrees with the HP so now what we should do this figure has to be transferred to this line such that this AB which is resting on VP should fall on this so friends before you go to that we have to obtain a box a box PQRS and this figure ABCDE has to be enclosed in that box friends I will just make a box here and name it as PQRS so this is the box in which I am enclosing that pentagon so I will call this as PQRS this is P and this is Q the other end R is here and this is S so I have enclosed the front view of the pentagonal lamina in a box PQRS where the AB which is on VP is on the line PQ so I am going to redraw this box with PQ which has got AB to rest here so friends I am going to draw here a box PQRS 
or copy down the same box here. And here this box I have redrawn here. PQRS. Since AB is on PQ, I should write down this P here. P, Q, this is R and this box, this corner is yes. Now in that I have to copy this figure. How to copy? A is nearer to P on PQ. Take this measurement, mark on PQ. So this distance I have marked and this point is our point A. Similarly from the other end, mark this point B. So this AB will again be equal to 30 millimeter here. So friends, opposite to that AB is D, which is exactly in between R and S. So mark the center point of this R and S. That point is going to be the D dash. This is A dash, B dash, D dash. How to obtain E and C? So E is on PS at this distance from S on PS at this distance. So you are maybe you are going to get it here. This is your point A, B, C, D, E. Similarly on the other end at the same distance you have got the point C dash. C dash. So friends you have got all the five corners of the pentagon and if you join them by straight line you will get the final front view of the lamina. So join A to B, B to C, E to A, D to E, or the D dash you will say, and then this. Friends, whatever the figure we had here is redrawn with AB lying on this line, which is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to VP, sorry, 30 degrees to HP. I got the front view. Finally, I should get the top view. So, following the procedure of drawing the projectors from every point, you will get it. So, let us start with this point A or the corner A. Vertical from A, horizontal from A, this will meet here. So, this is going to be the point A. I will call this as point A. Similarly, vertical from B, horizontal from B will give you the point B. Yes, this point is point B. Then C, vertical line from C, horizontal line from C. You will get this point C here. Then D, vertical line from D, horizontal line from D, they intersect at this point and we get this as point D. A, B, C, D we got. Finally E, vertical line from E, horizontal line from here will give you point E. Hence we have got all the five corners A, B, C, D, E of the pentagon in the top view. Join all these by straight line. So I join A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E and E to A. This figure will give you the final top view. So this is A, B, C, D and E. And you find that AB is the side of the lamina which is on VP. Since it is on VP, you get it on the XY. So friends, this figure will give you the final top view. And this figure A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash will give you the final front view of the lamina. Friends, I am very sure that you would have followed the complete projection of this pentagonal lamina. And friends, I hope you are all happy with the presentation I have made on this problem on pentagonal lamina. If you like this particular channel, namely Mechanical Engineering Lecture Series, do subscribe if you have not done so far. Share the information with all your friends and have a wonderful day. This is Dr. M.H. Annaya signing off.